We are live. Hello, everybody out there. Hello, out there in digital land. Uh, this is Blaine and Mike, Rico and Rico Show. Rico, I'm going to bring this down real quick over here. All right. So I can watch uh, this. <clears throat> Good idea. I'll put that up here. So today I thought we would uh, uh, cover the subject of texture and timing. Hold on, dude. The <laughs> what? Hold on, everybody. What happened? I can't see the... Oh, you can't see this? Yeah. Ugh. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. There we go. Uh, <laughs> please stand by. He's trying to get the uh, actual screen showing so that you guys can see the, uh, yes, the demo here. TV paint. Has to be shared. Obviously. <laughs> there's David. There's David. Hello, David. Hey. Um, what a pal. What a pal. See? I don't get it. Why isn't it showing... One second, one second. It was up there before. Huh. Maybe it got pulled down to where it's off screen physically or something. Judy, where are you, Judy? Oh, man. Hello, guys. Hello, Matthew. Uh, we're trying to get it. Shoot. Technical If only I had some break music, you know? Technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> Girl from Ipanema or something. Before. <laughs> I really feel like an idiot right now. Is it one of the things that gets clicked in that? No. I'm trying to get our TV paint to go on. To be visible. There it is. Looks fine from where I'm sitting, folks. <laughs> camera, camera, TV paint. <clears throat> Drop down. Let's try this, dude. Right. Oh. Ta-da. Here we go. There are unsaved changes. So you want to... Yeah, save it. Look at that. Okay. Technical wizard. There we go. Yeah, real wizard. Except it's not filling the screen completely. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Shall soon have this up and running. All this gets edited out, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we want to keep it raw. Uh, but this keep, isn't keep the it, one. Let me see. Real. Draw something on there real right. quick, Rico. Ta da. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Who was that dude who did a perfect circle, Ruben? Look, look at that, man. That is, <laughs> Isn't that perfect? That's some hot stuff, dude. Okay. Go back there and... Uh, all right. If you measure that, it's all equidistant, you know. It's, oh, no, it's perfection. <laughs> all right. All right. We're almost there, everyone. Sorry for the... Just trying to get it a little more centered there. I'm going to move this out of the way. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> i got to keep my stylus away from the screen while he's uh, in the middle of working on this stuff. Okay. That's good enough, I think. Cool. All right. All right. Working, working. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now I can see the screen. Thank you, David. Yes. There we go. <laughs> All right, Rico. Well, here we go. Okay. Okay. David and Matthew are with us. Nice. And... What are you going to talk about? Well, I'm going to do a little demonstration that illustrates uh, some texture in, in timing when you're animating. Like if you have a little bit of business or a scene you're going to do, I'm just going to just demonstrate that, how, you know, how I would approach it. And, okay. You know, this is just for a demo. It's not trying to be feature animation or anything like that. So, so I'll need your help on this in the beginning because I'm going to do kind of a technical thing. I'm going to do a drawing of a, of a very simple character here. Okay. Ooh, it's a thick one. Uh, oh, I'm just pressing hard. No, it just does that. It's a glitch. If you want to erase that, go ahead. All right. There you go. Should be fine now. Oh, cool. All right. So I'm just going to do a little gestural thing here where there's this character who is... Hello, Chadwick. Mike is going to be showing us a little 
uh, d uh, demo here of how to get texture and timing. Yeah, it's a simple little thing. Okay, so I want to have this character uh, that's going to be moving slowly at first, but then I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to mix it up instead of the whole bit of business being um, slow, there's going to be a slow and a fast part to it. So I'm going to do this first. Okay. And I want to make it look like he's on a pair of skates. Ooh. <laughs> Getting ready for the winter time, huh, dude? Yeah, go with the winter <laughs> fall theme here. Okay. So <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to take this pose and I want to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And I'm going to, on a separate layer, I'm going to draw a path that oh, I want man. to move on. Oh, man. I didn't know we were copy-pasting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's too hard. Let's okay. see. Uh, All right. No, we can do it. I have to first make another layer of just the... Uh, okay, dude. Go to... Here, let me see a second. Do you want just an animation layer? Yeah. Okay. There's your animation layers highlighted. So he's on top, right? It doesn't matter who's no, on top. No, he's not. It's blank on top. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to draw on that layer right now. Okay. I'm just going to draw myself a little guide here. That is going to show that he's going to move forward a little bit like this. Okay, now I'm going to lock that layer. That's this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, oops. That's, I'm sorry. Here, you go down here. Let's get rid of, right there. See the dot right there? Under the lock? Barely. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's right, it's locked. Okay, now if I select this layer, I'm drawing on him, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to select him. Mm-hmm. Um, with the selection tool, I guess. Oh, shit. It's right there. We can wrap. Okay, now I'll just copy, there. copy him. Oh. And paste him in another frame so I get another extreme going. Copy. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him slowly glide on the ice in the beginning of this quote unquote scene. And I'm going to have him glide forward and enlarge him a little bit so that he is. Oh, I've got to extend okay. this to make this long. I, I extend this by grabbing up here or down there. Oh, this? Yeah. Right there? Oh, hold on. Let me come back up there. Oh my god. Just want to extend that one background reference frame. Mm. Get rid of that. up there what do you want to do now I want to take that frame of the, the lines and just extend it really long so that it's always there let me go up there okay but it's locked so I'm oh. gonna unlock it all right oh well, there's the that's the box I was looking for. yeah cool right there okay and it just stays there the whole what, time do, right? do you want to put this layer on top sure okay Okay, now do you want me to lock this? Yeah, just lock that back. Okay. All right, cool. All right now you're highlight this one. Okay. No. Oops. There. There. All right. So I've got this one here. That's the copy that was pasted, yeah. right? And I'm going to move it over here and enlarge it just a little bit. <coughs> Let's go to select tool. Right there. I, I can't see it. <laughs> there we go. When working with digital uh, programs, I sometimes think to myself, when I'm trying to do a shortcut like this, I wonder, would it be just as, would it take just as long for me to just draw it out, or would it, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, if you don't know the, I would say if you don't know the, the software, yeah. It would probably be easier just to draw it out. Oh, okay. But, okay, guys, sorry for the 
the weight. I'm trying to. I should probably just draw it be faster. Because the drawing doesn't have to be you know, oh. 100% accurate. All right, let, let's do that. All right. So, yeah, just have one drawing of him for now. Like that. I'll make another one. Should be able to move it. Move it. There you go. Oh, but we want to see the. Yeah, I'm just going to redraw it because it'll be faster. Oh, <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go back, back. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to delete okay. this one. Cool. Then we'll come back here. I'll tell you one thing. If this doesn't teach you patience and animation, <laughs> nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, do you want... You can move him... Yeah, I want to move him back over back. here. Right there. All right. Cool. Now I'm going to go to the next drawing. Ding. There you go. And how do I get rid of this thing? Oh. Because uh, I don't want to mess it up. Let's go up there. Oh, there it is. Cool. And you want your onion skin? Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Thanks. All right. There it goes. Sorry for that. Cool. All Try to teach Rico how to use TV paint. It's only for <laughs> us sophisticated <laughs> ones, right, David? <laughs> 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 only for folks that can. And have the mental capacity to be able to pull it off. <laughs> so what are you doing now? You're well, I'm just uh, trying to project where the uh, legs are going to go forward here, where the arms are going to wind up, you know, like this. Okay. So I'm kind of moving my cursor around to do basically the same pose. It doesn't have to be, you know, technically perfect. It's just, uh, he's just gliding forward a little bit. All right. So I'm doing that, getting that pose done. Um, I can make that stronger if you want. Yeah, much stronger, like really opaque. <laughs> um, <coughs> sharp too, make sharp um, edges. Go back there. This is the eraser tool, folks. Make that what do you want? Like 93, 2, 1. For opacity? For the eraser. Oh, the, the whatever, strength. Whatever's the strongest. Yeah, that, yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, whatever's the strongest is good. Okay. That's cool. Oh, that's perfect. Any questions, you guys, uh, please feel free to ask. There we go. So it goes from here to here. <clears throat> now I'm going to take this one and move it over. Oops. Well, what do you want to do? I want to move this frame over here and make in-betweens in between it. You want to... Do an in between. Open it up, yeah. There, there, then the. Oh. It's been weeks since I've used this, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. That's okay. It's just switching back. Make sure you get your arcs right. <laughs> this is not a demo on arcs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was. So full speed ahead, dang the. The arcs. <laughs> and once again, watching someone animate is like watching paint dry. Really exciting to watch. You know, next time we'll set it up beforehand. All right. Okay, so there's that. This up a little bit. Okay. 
Can you imagine? And this is just a simple gestural thing and it's taking time to draw, you know? Imagine if it was a full-blown character that you had to rough out, that had to be all fleshed out. And it's going to take some time. Oh, Jack, Jack, sorry. Jack Stol Stolery? Hey, guys. Sorry, can't uh, stay to watch. I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh, sorry, Jack. We did this. Uh, yes. We so both had some free time. <laughs> at yeah. this moment so we thought we'd try to get one in there yeah. but you'll be able to see it it will be on uh, the channel so if you want to watch it later yeah, you're getting the hang of it now there we go yep little by little repetition Going as fast as I can. Keeping it nice and loose. Don't get any details in there. Just roughing it out. So he's moving forward. And now I'm going to start that slow in. Slow it down. No, I see now what you're doing. Yeah. I'm gonna get this camera a little more on you there. There we go. Oh, now we got the full Rico in there. All right. <laughs> So right now you're just basically just putting in some in between, slowing in. Yeah, I just created the two extremes and I'm just filling in uh, enough to make it like a slow in. Right. So he comes to a stop on his skates on the ice. Just for you guys who are beginners, just remember this is how you make it speed up and slow down. More drawings in between. Yeah. Just your basic way of thinking in the very beginning. You know, it's funny, uh, Richard Williams always said, don't ever listen to music when you're animating because animation is concentration. He's absolutely right. But everyone's different, and I, I work better with music on, believe it or not, than I do without music. Isn't that weird? Do you? Yeah, I actually do. You know, when I was younger, I did too. Everyone is different. Um, sometimes the music can help you focus more with some people. Well, I heard that Bill Tightley used to play this heavy classical music when he was working on Chernobog to get in the mood, you know? Yeah, that would make sense. Isn't that true? I mean, that's what I heard. I, I heard he, yes, Have he heard threw that? himself really into it. I didn't know that. No, oh, I didn't okay. know that. I bet Dave would know that one. Wanted Gamings. Hello, Animation Masters. Hello, Wanted Gamings. All right, I think that's Thank enough. you for joining us. That's enough of a slow one, I think. There we go. There you go. Down. All right, so I'm gonna uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to the next frame. Now here's where I'm gonna break away from this slow. Right, stay in camera. Oh, sorry. Don't <laughs> this be is camera where, shy. This is where I'm gonna slow. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I'm gonna stray away from this slow in, and I'm gonna have him like, uh oh, he's losing his balance. He's gonna be whoa. He's gonna freak out a little bit. Oh, so it's going to be fast. Okay. So no more of the slow stuff. He's going to flip out and start to lose his balance. Oh, man. He's going to be showing us some uh, <laughs> straight-ahead animation here. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. This is a great example, you guys, of this is where you would do straight-ahead animation. Right, Rico? Absolutely. Always back me up when I say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is, because this isn't... You know, this is sort of a wild action. What are you doing? I'm trying to turn off that onion skin. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm just playing. Watch. 
See right under the light. Can you oh. see that light bulb? Oh yeah, I thought this was the light bulb. What's That's this? A, What's I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. You just click right underneath it. See, whoever created these icons it didn't create them the way I would do it. <laughs> well, we're waiting for that Rico software to come out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. All right, now he's losing his no, balance. TV like, paint's Whoa. not the easiest one. I'm telling you. Well, it's by the way, David. I did check out that uh, for the iPad that TV paint for iPad. I'm just too too old and lazy now. But it does the drawing tool in it is great. I'm going to stay with rough animator. Well, you like that way to flip it back and forth, right, Rico? Oh yeah, you gotta flip this stuff, man. That's that's the way. Way of the Jedi. <laughs> and now this one needs to be. Rico, can you let me take over one second? Yeah, sure. I just want to do this. Okay, it's back with you. Okay. Uh, touch it. Oh. There you go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, something just what, happened. What's going on? I just lost the chat. Huh. It just crashed. Uh-oh. More technical difficulties. Oh, God. Change it. I don't know how to do it. fix this one, dude. The chair just went down, too. It's an omen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a bummer. I think we just... I'm going to keep working here. All right. Well, so no, I, I need back. control. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's not your fault. I, was gonna I, say. Don't, I don't know what happened just now. Well, if it crashes, it crashes. It's out of our control. So speaking of Bill Teitla. Um, are you guys there? Let me see. Texture and type. There, there we go. Okay. Uh, can you guys see us? Welcome to live chat. <laughs> David, can you let us know if you can see us? If we're back still live? It looks like we are, dude. Okay, cool. Go ahead. All right. So speaking of Bill, Bill Tytla, I heard a story, another story about him, just as a little side note here. Okay. Um, I heard that uh, he used to hang out in a certain cafe or diner in New York City when he, when he moved there after he... Uh, left Disney Studios and uh, I guess he was working on Terry Tunes or something yeah and uh, when Richard Williams was in New York City he had someone give him a tour and show him where tightly you stay. thank you David uh, he says I can see the chat on my end and I can see you very good thank you David I don't know those guys. Yeah, I guess they can see the chat, huh? Because they answer each other and stuff. Yeah, right? they talk to each other. Cool. All right. Yeah, so Richard Williams was uh, brought to uh, the diner, and I heard Richard drop to his knees at the entryway to the diner and went, oh! You know, he's like like he was praying. To I, I saw him do that when Milk Call went and visited him in, in the studio. He, he walked in and I actually saw the video where he got down on his knees and really? did the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about Richard, you know, he respected the lords of animation. Absolutely. So if you can, try, try to talk about what you're doing right now. You're I'm trying to make it feel like he's... But you're he, feeling it, right? His feet are coming out from under him, yeah. Right. So they're spreading out, and he's like, whoa, trying to gain his balance with his arms. So that's but, basically what I'm trying to do. And you're here. feeling it out, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm just kind of going like uh, as if it were a ballet, and I kind of have to flow with with whatever's going on and I'm also trying to think a little bit about asymmetry you know a little bit about what asymmetry okay so I'm trying not to make it feel like he's 
everything's the same time. Yeah, like I don't want the arms to do this. I don't want anything to mirror itself. Like I don't want I don't want the arms to mirror each other, and I don't want the legs to mirror each other either. Right. And yet I want to feel a flow and a rhythm going on throughout the. Uh, now I want to make it feel like he's trying to regain his balance, so he's trying to bring one of his legs in. You know, like this. Cool. Right. All about feeling it. Yeah. Especially something like this. And the thing that I'm doing I, is uh, we went from a really, you know, slow in here, really close drawings, to now there's, they're wildly spaced. So they're, you know, it's more frantic. So I'm making him move a lot faster now, trying to regain his balance. Like, whoa. So that's what's going on here. Trying to get some kind of a progression in the arms here. Very rubbery and noodly at first. <laughs> As he's trying, cool. to, trying to catch his balance. Oh, and another thing I'm doing is I'm trying to track his head so that it goes up and around and feels like it's following a path of action by itself, you know. So it's almost like his uh, his pelvis and his head are kind of leading the way and everything else is just kind of... So you're imagining, even though you're not drawn in the arc, but you are conscious of keeping it in arc with the movement? Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to visualize that in my mind as I'm doing it. Right. Like here, I want to bring up one of his legs. He's trying to jerk up this knee here jerk this knee up into a to try and regain some balance or some semblance of balance here in the front like that right yeah and his arms I can pretty. feel it cool cool did you want the glove nah need no stinking gloves <laughs> I can't do it without it now Really? Yeah, I've gotten so used to it. It's like I feel. <laughs> Does anybody else uh, use a glove like that? I mean, I know a lot of people that I used to work with use a glove. I, well, it was weird. Anybody? I never used it. Didn't really understand it because with paper, I never, a glove, no one wore a glove. Well, it helps to. Uh... But it helped me when I realized because my, I guess I get a sweaty hand. <laughs> it, it would it helps, I'd move my hand. It helps to slide across the yeah. screen, yeah. Keep yeah. it keep it fluid instead of getting stuck. That makes sense. And make sure Rico's still framed right now. You're looking good there, Rico. Right. Let's see what it looks like here. I'll do a little scroll. So nice, slow, and then whoa. Oh, that's weird. I started drawing on another drawing. That's weird. How do I delete that one? Uh okay. Go up to the right. Wait for that window. See the red? Click. Bam. Boomba, huh? Yeah, I wonder how that happened. That was weird. Just kind of created a new drawing all of a sudden. Oh, well, things happen. There we go. Whoa, he's trying to regain his balance. Ah! <laughs> right. I always make noise when I'm animating, too, when I'm drawing. I do, too. That's how I got in trouble in school. Sit there in the back of the class, drawing little scenes and making the noises, and the teacher knows exactly what you're doing, so you're busted. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you're a little kid, you don't think that far ahead. You're just like, Yahoo! Right. And the teacher's like, okay, Did you get in trouble? Oh, heck yeah, all the oh. time. I got busted for drawing so many times. If I had a dollar for every time I got busted for drawing in class, man. So now he's. He's come forward and he's going to try and regain his balance here. So he's bringing his head down and under, trying to tuck his head down and get his pelvis stabilized. Bringing this foot forward. back in opposition 
make it seem more chaotic. Quiet on the home front, Rico. I should shade. I like to shade in the limb that's in the back sometimes just to kind of keep track. Yeah, it whenever makes you, it much easier. And yeah, whenever you have a frantic movement like this, it uh, helps to keep track of things. So yeah, that's good right there. There we go. Get some delineation going. Cool. So really, you got to the point where you have to have that glove and it feels weird without the glove, huh? Yeah. Huh. It, uh, There's nothing wrong with that. It's just interesting. It, I, it, is, it is. It's like on my iPad. Um, I'll put, like, be drawn because I'm trying to draw from <laughs> my shoulder, but it gets stuck on there. Huh. Which on paper, it never did. But I always did have graphite hand at the end of Oh, drawing. God. Yeah. Mine looks like I work in a coal mine. Yeah. Cool. That's looking good. Now he's going to try to get a little stabilized here. Nice brush in this program. I really like this. Yeah, the drawing tool's great in this. Why, Jake, some guy named Jake Carlisi just what? gave us two pounds. What? Why, thank you, Jake Carlisi. Two pounds, that's like a lot in American. Uh, wait, and he also put, put in a little glass of wine there. <laughs> He's thinking of his dad. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Bo. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da. I love it. <laughs> Danke schön. How are you doing, Bo? How's everything going there? I'm gonna have a personal conversation. Go with right, my kid. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, tomorrow, you're supposed to. You're gonna be getting that mail that I mailed off. David says, our guru, I used to have to uh, have eraser crumbs and graphite all over my clothes. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. I so, to... Some people wore an apron. That I never saw, but I never could get used to that. I was going to say. My clothes were a mess after a long day of animating. I know. I always, there, there was a sense of satisfaction. The darker my hand was, <laughs> yeah, I feel it's, like... It justifies all that work and effort, yeah. I used to work with a guy named Lee Halperin that worked at Filmation. He used to wear an apron religiously every day. Really? To get that stuff off, because he didn't want graphite all over his clothes and stuff. I always wondered, why is he wearing an apron? And then I realized, you know... Well, you know what I used to do? What? Sometimes when I was really tired or feeling lazy, what? I'd go to the uh, pencil box and get the all the shavings and I'd rub it all over me look like I was working hard <laughs> no I believe it <laughs> just kidding <laughs> just no kidding. I know some people that did stuff like that for real <laughs> Chris my buddy Chris hello Chris good evening and oh Jake all good very good Bo oh thank you uh, Gemma how you doing Gemma how's my girl doing Hi, Mr. Carter. You see, Larry, Jim, Jim is getting all formal now. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carter. I'm going to start calling you that now. I'm going to go. I'm going to come and visit you guys. So I'm almost done. I've got, uh, I'm getting him where he's back to getting stable again here. So let's see. Yeah. Cremation Station, 992. Hello. Glad you could join us.
Oh, I see. It's going to be skating back. Do you know how to ice skate? <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can I do, do it. but I, I tried it one time, and I, I can't can, skate at all. I can do it, but I'm really awkward, uh, like this guy. <laughs> see, he's like, oh, see, there's the slow that part. That looks great. Whoa, yeah. And then he goes yeah. back, and he regains I, his. I, yeah. And now this is the texture part. He goes back to so, slow end again. So it's like slow, fast, you know, slow, fast. And then slow again as he glides back. I'm gonna just add a couple more in betweens in here to make sure that it slows in. There you go. Look at a little look, smoother. Looking like a pro. Look at that. I know the light Whoa, box look tool. Now he's got it. He's uh, got it. How many minutes on this? And I'm already a pro. <laughs> Dave, Dave's calling you Doctor Rico. All right. <laughs> Coming from him, man. That's a compliment. He's Mr. TV Paint for sure. He's the man. Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, it was uh, it was Gemma calling me Doctor Wainus. <laughs> Her and Jake came up with this Wainus. Oh yeah, Doctor Wainus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Doctor Rico. <laughs> Dave says, "Call me Doctor Rico, Doctor Fine, Doctor Rico." <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fun reference. That's the Three Stooges, folks. All right, a couple more in betweens here, and it should be done. And then, uh, if you're real slick with how to drag these and time them, you know, you could put on twos or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, that's easy. To do. Yeah, I mean the slow parts on twos, and then let the middle part be on ones, of course, and we'll see what happens. See how it looks as a test. I'm actually going to show you how to do it because it's that okay. easy. All right. Yeah, I know that manipulating these frames is pretty fast and simple, which is nice. Uh, let's see. One more, I think, and I'll be... Yeah, one more. Just to get a little extra cushion here. And you know, this is uh, kind of rare for me. I mean, I'm glad I'm doing this demo because it forces me to go go quickly and keep it really loose. Otherwise, I would sit here and try to noodle this thing to death and it would take me forever. Oh, this so, is perfect for the demo. It's good to just you know, throw yeah. something down like the old, old guys did and uh, check it out. Okay, let's uh, scroll through this. Slows in and whoa, and then goes back. <laughs> cool. So because I went straight ahead, it had to have, it always had to have a natural, hopefully a natural flow to it. So that when he comes out of it, he flows back to normal again. So that's, uh, Don't be camera shy. Look at that camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just checking me. <laughs> checking my eyebrows. <laughs> I can see where I could probably put one more, one more drawing in. Like that's a big jump right there. What do you think? Should I put one in there? That's a big one. Go ahead, Rico. Just sh show right. them the way you would go about it. Okay, that that yeah. way they can see. Like you know, he's starting like, to slow down. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Okay, or, I'm gonna. Or if you want, more. remember, you're digital. You could just hit play. And... <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put okay. this one last. Let me see which direction he's going in here. Okay. Make sure I get that proper arc. There we go. It's just such a big jump there that it feels like. Uh, even for a frantic movement like this, I still want to have some kind of a, add another drawing to keep a, uh, to let the viewer's eye follow something, otherwise it just jumps too far. Yeah, I think, you know? on ones it will look good. Yeah, it should, it should go pretty quick on ones. And that one is there. Checking that. Pure movement. David said, nice. Uh, the thanks. animation. Thanks, man. Again, coming from him. That's a very nice compliment. I'm flattered. That's a little messy. Sometimes you get a little too rough and it's like, eh, it's not reading very well. So you gotta d delineate it a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now I'm gonna scroll through it. That should be a little better in that area. Here we go. Slows in. Whoa. Whoa. Bounce and comes out of its like a star. Very cool. Very cool. 
So there's the texture. See, if that was me skating, it, my bum would be on the ice. Oh, me too. I'd be on the ground. All right. So now I want to time it so where all this stuff over here is on twos, and then right there it's got to be on ones all the way till about probably that's on twos again. Mm, okay. So, from here, so show where do, where do you want it on twos? Uh, from right beginning to, to there. To there. Okay. Yeah. All that has to be on twos. So here's there's a couple ways we can do it. Okay. Um, if well, should I show it? We'll go there. Yeah. Select okay. them all. Go to the right column. Okay. This one. Yeah. Wait for that pop up. You see where it says number two? There you go. Really? Just hit that? Uh huh. Woo! Look at that. There you go. Instantaneous. That's okay. One we got way. Twos. Then find the ones. And then right. There, I want to go back to two. So okay. From here to yeah, there. There you go. Click on that. Right there. Click and drag. Okay. Do it again. Yep. There you go. Two. You're a pro. Now, where do I hit play? Right here? Hit play. Right, right there. Go to the first frame, and here we go. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, I want to I want to make this one longer. Okay. This, now, here's a real... I want to so, hold it before here's, this, here's another way you can do it. So, you come up there. See that little box? Oh, right, right there. Right. Bottom right corner. Uh -huh. How? Oop. Just grab it and drag. Yeah. How, how long? Uh, I'll pull it over. Okay. This is cool. I like this program. Every yeah. time I use it, I'm like, yeah. No, once you That's get the cool. hang of it. And it how cool. do I move over to the next? Okay, see that bar right there? The orange bar? Oh, the orange one. Okay, there you there go. go. All right, now I'm going to hold this Same one. thing. Okay. Exactly. There. That's it. Okay. Go back. Select the first frame. Whoops. Which is what? There. There. And hit play. Oh, now the there background doesn't go with it, but anyway. Well, we can turn the background off or extend it. It's up to you. I'll extend it. Well, let's turn it off. I've just turned it off because we okay. don't need to see that anymore. Yeah. Oh, I thought I turned it off, but I didn't. There we go. And that's it. There's the texture and timing. Slow, fast, slow. Just a real quick demo of that. Very good. Voila. Very good. <laughs> so you start off, so it's like, uh, I would say like music. Yeah. yeah. Different tempos. Exactly. Same thing. That's very one, good. One of the things in the arts that helps make it more interesting is this texture, this uh, mixing things up. And so you guys, that's how they get... Uh, it is a lot like music. Let me, I'm not looking at the camera. Um, it's a lot like music in animation. You think of the beats like Rico just did, you know? Slow, fast slow and it just matters what your scene is and there you go you just saw a demonstration of how how to approach it that was Rico's way of doing it it worked cremation station wow it's like I can feel the emotion of the skater cool a nice compliment thank you good job Rico I'm just gonna add a little more texture here there you go Um, yeah, I mean, it, it got off to a slow start, but uh, you can well, see. Well, there was some technical difficulties on my part. I mean, with me doing the, you know, the whole slowing bit. All right, let's well, click. animation is slow. <laughs> I agree. Okay, let's try this, see how it looks. I just added a couple of threes in there. That, that makes it even better. That works even better. That adds to the slowings. So. That was a great example. What he just showed you guys, playing around with the timing. You don't want to be too quick to say, yeah, okay. So he was just playing around with it, and I agree. That works much better. Cool. So there you have it. I'll let it play a few times. Good job, dude. Well, let it play. Anything right. you want to say while they um, look at it? Well, when I noticed when I was doing this that, of course, whenever you go straight ahead, the character started to grow. So that's inevitable when you're going straight ahead. I mean, if you're going to go fast, if you go really... If you slow down when you're doing straight ahead, you can keep more control over the size and the volumes and all that. But I just want to get the feel down right away, so I didn't worry too much about the if it grew a little bit. It's okay, as long as that. Now with digital, you can just transform, that's shrink true. that down. That, no problem. That's true. But so. remember, he was coming forward, getting bigger. He's supposed to get bigger. Yeah, but I mean, when he starts to really flail, he actually grows in, oh, in the oh, scene. So oh. that was. Uh, um, yeah. 
you know, just one of those oh, hazards where you get one straight ahead. You're being a little picky there. Uh, uh, I, did, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> well, I noticed it because I was doing it, so I was more intimate with it, so that's why I probably... All right, we'll start over then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, right. we're our own self, worst self critics, right? You know? Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. So yeah. Uh, okay. So if anybody has any questions, we could answer some. If not, yeah, I'll we'll keep it. this a, I'll go through it a short one. Maybe I could talk about what I was thinking here. Go ahead. He's he's like, his feet are sliding out from under him here, and he's whoa, he's leaning back because he's losing his balance all of a sudden and now he's like really his legs are spreading apart and his arms are flailing more and he's like losing his he's gonna go down here he's gonna almost hit the ground so he tries to pull his abdomen in and try to rectify the fall and he's trying to bring his knees up and bring his arms forward to maybe stop him from falling and then he plants his foreground leg here and tries to slide it on the ice slides back and well all the time while he's trying to get his arms to balance and then he finally regains it and then he slides back and he's fine that's, beautiful that's man. the whole thinking behind beautiful it. Well, enrico didn't even do any thumbnails on that <laughs> no, i just <laughs> just did it dive in just went for it yeah i hope so, that was are these on twos Go ahead and, and explain which yeah. ones what you did there so the first let me let me okay. do this for you mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it where everything's oh good idea. right in there. That's a good idea. And let me put it starting on frame one. Okay. Okay. So. So of course I I wanted to hold this first drawing a little bit, just to let the viewer establish you know recognize what this is before anything happens. And I've heard that you have to spend what at least five frames on the beginning of a shot before. A person like recognizes what we're looking at and then they start to perceive it something like that there's like this rule of five frames anyway so then on twos here he starts to move forward and then as he gets the spacing gets closer and closer I wanted to slow it down even more so right here this is on threes three frames and then here this is three frames and then the minute he starts to lose control and flail wildly that's all on ones all these are on ones and it goes back to twos as he regains his control. Twos, twos, and then threes, threes, and then stops and holds for a while. And what's cool is you can see when he put those uh, certain drawings on threes, it felt more natural after he did that. And you would just, if you wish to, you put in-betweens on twos to compensate if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, if, if when you put things on threes or fours, it kind of gets a little too choppy if you want it to still feel full. So you can translate those threes into, you know, either putting it on ones or twos or whatever. You know, you just have to slow things down a little bit more. You have to add some frames just to give it more of a, like it's relaxing, you know. Right. Before he goes frantic. That's and, all it and is. And your timing shows that. Let's see. Cool. Chris... <laughs> thank you chris chris just donated two bucks thank you buddy nice thank you no one is cooler than chris chris is <laughs> he's always donating well that's he did it uh thank you chris that's thank very, you very buddy nice. thank you uh thank you. what a pal what a pal <laughs> attaboy um david David says, would you, in between the parts that you have timed on threes, how would you, how well, would you chart them? How would you chart them? That's a, that's a good that, one, David. That's a good idea, or a good qu uh, question, how I would do it. What I would do is I would go from, uh, actually, I would probably translate it from threes to, because I don't want to all of a sudden put it on ones and do all this work, right? I want to keep it. Uh, you know, not too much, too many drawings. If I can help it. Well, you you could do it because you got it on threes, which yeah, but, is six. But I want to make it. Uh, I would translate that into fours, and then I'd oh. put twos in there. I'd put an in between, in between each one of those, so I'd kind of translate it to fours. But if I really wanted to keep that threes timing, I would put it on ones of that section. That's how I would chart. Would you? It. Yeah, because you've got one, two, three, boom. I mean, if you're going to put an in-between in here, where are you going to put it on twos? You can't put it there because that's on ones or that's on ones with the drawing just before it or after it. 
So you have to open it up another frame and then put it put it on twos, quote unquote. Well, what you can do is you got threes, threes, and then from there you would make that your last drawing, and you would have this on twos, and then put in oh, a I, drawing right there. I see what you're saying. You're saying take this to keep it on twos, the second, third, and shift it over. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's very good. I didn't think of that. So. Uh, could could you do a demo of that one? Yeah. And then a demo of the, how you would do it if you did do it on ones or fours, whatever? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. So let's do it. Um, let's do what you said. Let's take okay. this drawing and we'll move that over. So okay. that means so I'm going to do this. Exactly. Okay. There. Oops. That's okay. That I didn't bring, bring it back. back. Right. There. Right there. You there. Twos. Twos. Okay. Right there. So now there I've go. got one, two, boom, two, boom, two. So I could put one in between right here. Exactly. But how do I create a blank? I do it by hitting this. And hitting well, show show on the chart for first. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Go to the first so one. So I'm going to do a chart here. And what drawing is that? Twenty one. And twenty one to twenty what? Five. Five. So I'll just do twenty three. There you go. Ta-da. There you go. And the way I do that is so by you go going here right and there. Do that. There you go. There you go, and put that on twos. And so I've got one. Do I put twos? Put, put your twos, onion skin on. Twos. Okay. Cool. And there you go. Wow, that is really close together. So this is going to be twenty-three. Exactly. The breakdown. Yeah, you know, see, two minds are better than one because what well, Rico, my what, mind's always better than his. What Rico, <laughs> <laughs> what Rico came up with was a perfect solution for I was thinking against the grain and he went why don't you just move that drawing over and then open it up so you can put it back on twos again I'm like yeah yeah that makes sense which is it, <laughs> but that stuff does get confusing Chris my man uh, alright boom there it is there you go so that's there you go that takes care so, of that problem or so you I could still have, have it you still could have done it Rico's way but it's a slow uh, movement there. Yeah. Oops, how did that get duplicated? What happened? I got the same drawing here and here. Okay, let's go there. I don't know why it does that, dude. That wasn't, that's, that's not you. Might be a glitch or something. Uh, or maybe I hit something on that there. Didn't get rid of it. Get rid of it. There. I'll put it back put on the twos. There we go. Yeah, there's 21, 23, and 25. Is 25 there? Yeah, I just didn't label it. Oh, oh, okay. 25, there. There you go. Good demo. That, was, that, that is how you do that, you guys. And that answers Dave's question, like how yeah. would you chart that? Yeah. Ta-da. Yeah. Ta-da. That, that switches it from three. Let's see the speed, Rico. Come all on, right. this is what it's all about. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Nice. I mean, honestly. I that, like it. E even on threes right there, at the end there, it's still smooth. Yeah, it's still. Yeah. I mean, it's a little. Just a little. Choppy, but. Yeah. You can fix but it. you do the exact same thing. Yeah. So very good, very good. Yeah, so you have the option. You can either just do that one in between for 23 or you can put it on ones and double your work which you know it's up to you if you want to do that you'd be like Richard Williams put everything on ones yeah you know sometimes I I find myself doing that just because I like it I, I totally get where he and Andreas are coming from when they say put it on ones put it on ones because it does look cool like, does Andreas do everything on ones he well, I know he loves to he, oh, he does prefer he? to yeah oh. I, as far as I know that's all I've ever heard yeah well, you Maybe. know, when I first got to Maybe. Disney, when we went over there for Prince and the Pauper? Yeah. I only knew ones. That's how Lennart taught us. Really? Yeah. You never did stuff on twos? I never did because oh I, I thought, God. Uh, remember, Lennart <laughs> said, no, but you do everything on ones, and I thought you'd be a hack if you did on twos. And then I got so used to doing it on ones when I had to switch to twos because they asked us. Hey, can you guys not everything on ones? Right, right. You know, and it was like, oh, okay. I got, I got really confused in the beginning of it. Wow. But, but you know, I, I think it looks better ones and twos. 
Uh, yeah, I, I like the mixture the best. Yeah. Even as much as I love ones. But I will say, I do, I'm guilty of that too, Rico. You like to do that. I'll, yeah. I'll sit there and just, I'm going to do it all once. Yeah, because it just has a cool <laughs> feel to it. You can't help it as an animator. You want it to feel cool, right? And yeah. it does, it just does when you put it on yeah. ones. Now, there's, there's always exceptions to the rule. Like, I remember Richard Williams in that documentary was talking about how the witch looked better on twos at some point. And he couldn't, he didn't have an explanation for it, but he just said it looked better on twos, so he left it on twos. Yeah. It's, it's the darndest thing <laughs> sometimes, man. It, yeah. I don't know why that is. Like, I remember I did this walk cycle. I put it all on ones after I'd done it on twos. Yeah. And it's a fast, it's not a walk, you know. It's, right. it's more of a stomp. And it looked better when it was on twos. Yeah, it drains something from it when it's on ones. Yeah. It's it too fluid. Too fluid, or something. I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. like too many... So, do you want to go ahead and save this before it gets lost? Cause oh, it automatically saves. Oh, okay, never mind. But, I don't know where you... We will do that. I don't want to accidentally it. delete it. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, I think that that was good. Hey, do you want yeah, to say that's, anything else? Um, no, that's all I can think of. I mean, that was... Okay. A, um, I could go over to this section that's on threes and put that on ones, but... I don't know if anybody has the patience to watch that. Would you guys want to see me take this section on threes and put it on ones so you can compare the section that was on threes before the scramble and see how that looks on twos and then compare it to the end section that would be on ones and then you can see for yourself what kind of result that's that That's a good idea. Gets. Let's do it. All right. Okay, let's, let's take it. There's a two, there's three. Okay. And do me a favor, dude. Yeah. Uh, show, show them the charts. They... they have a hard time understanding charts. You can put charts in here? For No, just on that last section when oh, you're going to put gotcha. it on. Just so okay, gotcha. I always get questions, you know, you can. Yeah, about okay. charts. So this is uh, 39 for 49. What is that? I can't see it. 39. Where? 39. Where? old guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 39. <laughs> <laughs> That's 42. <Yeah>, 42. <laughs> <laughs> and then that goes to uh, 45 that's the last one so okay. we got 45 is the last one here and then before that we've got we go into 42 so I'm going <laughs> to put this on ones so I got 39 I want to go to 40, 41, and 42 no, David, we don't want to do everything at 60 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, but we're not going to. How's that? <laughs> Just to uh, placate the... Uh... All right, so if it's on ones, there you go. 40 is going to be the breakdown here, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Bato, tell, tell them what kind of chart that is. Oh, by the way, this is a chart on thirds. Very good. Because it is one third of the way. That's what that indicates. That, and that's just a consistent movement, you guys. Yeah, even spacing. You've got yeah. this is the same as this, which is the same as that. So you've got equidistant spacing here. There's no slow-ins or slow-outs. They're all the same. So that's what that means when I put those little lines there. Very cool. I think that explains it quite well. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go ahead and do 40. Insert that one, boom. 40 is the breakdown. Put the little light on so I can see what I'm doing. Rico, if I want to show you something. Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't make it bigger. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Keep oh, going, keep okay. going. All right, so this is 40, 39, 40. Got it. And we're going to go one third of the way over. So, you guys, these are a little bit trickier because it's not directly in the middle after he does this one his number 41 will be directly in the middle of 40 and 42 right so the first third is usually the more difficult only because we're not used to it right it's right. not really harder it's just that we're it, not familiar it, yeah but when you're first starting now it's like you have it's just i think it's just human nature you want to put it in the middle all yeah. you do is just 
favorite to the first drawing. Exactly. The drawing you're working out of, the green drawing. Yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and add another. Whoops. Add another. Uh oh. Huh. Why is it not giving me the. Uh... There we go. That's adding a drawing. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be 41. I'm just going to turn off the. Uh, turn this off to double check. 39, 40. And then we're going to do 41, and then it goes into 42, but we've got too much. There we go. Too much. Space. There it is, 42. Got it. All right. Back to the light. This is 41. Now, this is halfway between 40 and 42. So this is uh, quite a bit easier because we're used to keeping things all nice and orderly. It's a little jittery, but that's to be expected. And now we're going to go from 42, 43, 44, 45 on thirds again. With 43 being the breakdown, since that's the first one that we're going to attack. So, and this is all being put on ones. 43, break down, put the light on. Make it a first third of the way. And of course, the tighter they get, the, the more they kind of blend together. Oh, here's a side note for you guys. When uh, in your tie down phase, not where Rico is here. But when you in your tie down phase, when the drawings are tighter, you gotta slow down a little bit there because it will be much more noticeable if you went out of arc or if you pushed a uh, shape or form across the wrong way or something. So just be aware of that. Yeah, you have to be a bit more careful, that's all. Yeah. Pay more attention to where these things are lying. All right, let's see how it looks. So now this all whole section here has been trans transferred into ones. So we have 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 to the last. Very cool. And it has a nice, cool life to you it. You can see, yeah. <laughs> I love that life. I just want to do this because I'm a geek. I like to fill that in. So it delineates the front from the back a little bit. I'm gonna put that line down. Boom! Put that line down. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. At speed. It has a glistening effect when yeah. it's on one. It's, it's like it sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> and it just makes it that much more alive. Yeah. It, it's, it's like CG. Yeah. Everything is on one. Yeah, exactly. This, this bristles with. Uh, it's short, but it bristles. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, dude. And now, since I'm a, a bit of a geek again, I'm going to uh, just make a couple of these on twos. Now that I've got these. <laughs> just because. Let's see how that looks. That works good. Yeah. So you still have so some ones just, in there. He gave it a little bit of time in the tail end of the scene. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put just uh, again, it's. Uh, Texture. Yeah, it's all part of the texture. It's slowing things down even more. I put the last one on threes before it stops to give even more of a. And it a is cushion. those little little nuances like that that can really plus your scenes. Or I used to think that adding a frame here and there didn't really matter, but it does. It, it actually makes a difference. You it know, does. One frame here and there. Yeah. You know, some people that's too picky, but it does make a difference really if it's a crucial part in the action of the scene. So yeah, it's cool. fun.
Okay. All okay. right, let's give it up for Rico. Oh, good job, dude. Very Thank good. You. Very good. That was excellent. It was fun to do. Um, all right. We're going to say goodbye, okay? All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Look at the camera. Don't be camera shy. Okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Rico. Goodbye, Rico. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Goodbye, you guys. Chris, Jake, thank you very much for donations. Yes. We truly appreciate it. Chris, you're too cool. All right. Bye-bye. And David, thank you, David. You're always there in a pinch for us. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have to start cutting David in. <laughs> the go-to guy. Yeah. Take care, you guys.